Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Today, we're going to show off the algorithmic solution on how to beat Hotel Dementia on oh so hard every single time. Nice, Charlie. Very nice. I gotta close up. Why don't you keep playing? I'll be right back. Hello, hello, hello! Good to see ya! Thanks to you and your cousins, we added rooms! But you always show up at closing time! What gives? Anyway, you know the tune. Go and grab a bunk. Gotta go. Practice makes perfect, unless you practice imperfectly. <laughs> So this level is actually incredibly simple. The algorithm basically goes like this. Find two Zumbinis with three traits in common. So we've actually got quite a few. Let's start with this guy. Put him in one of the corners, then take these Zumbini with three features in common and try to put them in the same room. Cool. So that tells us that hair does not matter in the long term of the solution. So now let's try this guy. He's got bald hair, but that doesn't matter. But he's got different colored feet. So if he can room in this room as well, we know it's same nose and same eyes. We'll get in room together. Okay, it's not. So feet does play a role in the solution. So let's try now putting him in the room right above. That didn't work, so now we put him in this room. So we now know that feet determines which column you can stay in. So people with propellers can stay in the first column, and people with pink shoes can stay in the second column. So you've got pink shoes, same eyes and same nose, so we know he can room there. We know this guy can room here. So, we know this guy can room there. Different hair, different feet, so he goes over there. Now let's see if it's nose and hair can room together. Or, I'm sorry, not nose and hair. Let's see if it's nose and feet. It's not. Alright, so now we know Zumbinis with the same eyes and the same feet can room together. So it actually doesn't matter that they have red noses. If they have glasses, let's see, we're out of Zumbinis with glasses. So glasses stay in this bottom row here. So now we're going to do, we're going to take this guy with a propeller. So he'll be in the first column, but he's got different eyes, so he can go above there. You've got a propeller, and you've got sleepy eyes, so you can room with him. Excellent. So now we've got normalized. Normalized, so she has to go in the next row. Roller skates, we don't have a column for roller skates, so we'll put her right there. Normalize and roller skates, you go there. Normalize and a bicycle. Normalize go in the third row. Bicycle will have to go in the last column, because we don't have a column for bicycles yet. You go in there. Sleepy eyes of a bicycle. So you can see, this is a very simple puzzle. Pink shoes go in the second column. Pink shoes go in the second column. Springs go in the first column. So essentially hey, the algorithm is all cool. structured around finding out which traits allow the Zuminis to room together, as well as which trait determines the row and which trait determines the column. So it's pretty simple. Let's do it again. So again, find two Zumbinis with free traits in common at the beginning. I can pretty much guarantee you will always have one. <laughs> and if you don't have one, then find two Zoominis with two traits in common. That'll just make the puzzle a bit tougher, because you'll have to do a bit more guesswork. Hmm. I like the music, it's very nice. We might actually not have two Zumbinis with three traits in common. That's very interesting. Alright, so we'll find Zumbinis with two traits in common. So this guy and this girl. We'll put him in the lower left corner. Let's see if they room together. They don't. Okay. So now we'll put her above. That doesn't work. Put her to the right. Alright. So we now know that it's either feet or eyes determine the... Uh, call them, or, or the row you're in. So they have the same eyes and the same feet. They can't room together, but they can room right next to each other in terms of columns. So that's interesting. So let's see if it's hair and feet. It's not hair and feet. All right. Can she still go in this row? Okay. So it looks like springs can go in this bottom row. So the feet the Zubini has determines the row they can go in. That's nice. And that's all our springs, so everybody else is going to have to go above. So now we need to find the other trait. Let's see if it's nose. So if you have pink shoes and green nose, can you room right up there? You can. Alrighty. 
Likewise, you've got roller skates and a green nose. You've got a bicycle and a purple nose. Propeller and a purple nose. All right. So we've basically figured it out. So sprains go in the bottom row. Pink shoes in the next row. Roller skates in the next row. Bicycles in the next row. Propellers in the top row. Likewise, orange noses go in the first column, purple in the second, green in the third, and then blue and red in the next two, and we haven't determined that yet. Blue will go in the next, uh, the fourth uh, column, then red will go in the final column. So it's actually a pretty simple puzzle once you wrap your head around the whole 2D part of it. It's going to be almost everyone gets their own room, which is kind of awesome. Almost everyone. These guys will have to room with their compadres. <laughs> oh, just. All right, that does it for Hotel Dementia on the Oso Hard Rank. Very simple algorithm to follow, even if you don't have two Zumbinis with three features in common. That still works. Also, if that second Zumbini could not room right next to the first Zumbini, that would actually tell you that the two traits that they didn't have in common are the traits that are required to room together. So even if that didn't work out, that would still tell us all we needed to know. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be going to the very hard rank, which... That was quite a thing to have to put together a solution for that one. So I look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.